You know, this year, 2020, I've been really looking forward to my 34th year as conductor of the Minneapolis Pops Orchestra at Lake Harriet, Nicollet Island. And unfortunately, that will have to wait till next summer. But as I was thinking about summer's past, a couple special stories came to mind. One in particular, when we turned what could have been a negative into a wonderful positive. It was 15 or 20 years ago, and I invited my good friend Elizabeth Como, soprano, to sing with the Pops Orchestra. Now, she grew up in Rochester, but built a national career in opera and in concert singing that took her to such places as the New York City Opera, but she was always happy to come home to Minnesota to perform with the Pops. This time, one of the songs on the program was Over the Rainbow, and I was delighted to call Beth and tell her how we had found a wonderful arrangement which begins in G, and G is the perfect um, key for a soprano to sing Over the Rainbow, her high Gs are beautiful, and I said it will be great, but I didn't do my homework. We got to the rehearsal, and we discovered that the second verse modulated down to D, a wonderful key for an alto, but not for a soprano like Beth. And I thought, what are we going to do to make this piece long enough for a real piece at the lake? And then I said, Beth, I've got an idea. Let's do the slowest over the rainbow ever. Stretch one time throughout so it's as long as two times and people will love it. I told the orchestra, just follow me. And I said, well, wait a minute, Beth. Either you've got to follow me or I've got to follow you or we'll get into trouble. She said, you know my voice you know my breath, I'll follow you. And so with the orchestra in rehearsal, we did the slowest, and I think most beautiful, over the rainbow ever. At the end, the orchestra broke out into wild applause, which was redoubled that night when we did it at the lake. And a couple years ago, we did it again. There had been storms shortly before the concert, and there was still a rainbow as an arc over the lake as we did over the rainbow. Now I bring up this moment of turning a negative into a positive because I want your help to do exactly that. As you know, at Lake Harriet we passed the hat and over the course of the summer we net about $20,000 in generous gifts. This year we don't have that chance, but some very generous donors and members of our board have put together pledges of $10,000 ready to be matched. If you make a, give, a gift now to the Pops, it will be doubled and we'll be able to make our $20,000 goal. I hope you really consider that very much. Thank you, and we'll see you next summer at the lake.